the Buddha knew that he couldn't straighten out the world. But he did know that you could get people to straighten out themselves. In other words, he realized that the really heavy sufferings in the world come from the things our minds do to us. So if we want to f solve the problem of suffering, solve the problem of the, all the problems that really weigh us down, we have to start inside. Start with your own actions, your thoughts, your words, your deeds. This is why we meditate. Because when the mind is in good shape, then the things it thinks and does and says are going to be a lot more skillful and a lot less likely to cause suffering. So you've got to start right in here. What is the quality of your mind right now? Because everything that shapes your life comes out of the mind, either the mind in the present or the mind in the past. Now, the mind in the past, you can't go back and straighten out and change, but you can change your mind right now. So if the mind is wandering off, change it so that it stays right here. If it's not comfortable right here, then you can change the breath. That much you can alter in the body. It's one of the few parts of the body that you have some control over. So you use that control to give the mind a good place to stay. Because when the mind is surrounded by comfortable breath energy, it's a lot more likely to want to do the right thing and say the right thing, think the right thing. And then the results of those right things are going to come back as right things in your life. This is how you realize that the important element in your life is right here, what the mind is doing right here, right now. The internet tells us that somebody else out there, TV, radio, the media, it's always somebody else out there. That's what's important. Well, somebody else out there, thats it may touch your life in some ways, but it doesn't touch you nearly as intimately as what your mind is doing right now. And this is what has the big impact on your life, because a lot of things that happen out there are not going to touch you at all. Or if they do touch you, it's because of some karma that you've made in the past. So you learn how to bear with that in the sense that okay, you have to accept what's happening out there sometimes. But you also discover there are things that you can change, starting by changing the quality of your mind. That's when the changes start getting skillful. If you go try to straighten out other people without straightening out yourself first, you can just create a huge mess. So straighten out this part inside first, and then whatever changes you see are important or necessary, okay, you'll. They'll come from a good foundation, a mind that's clear, a mind that's solid, a mind that doesn't have a lot of hungers that make it do unskillful things against its will, against its knowledge of what really should be skillful. So try to get the mind in good shape right here. That means not only strong, but also with a sense of ease, being right here. And good things can come from that. 